Elon Musk likes to drive into his Tony Stark vibes by impulsively buying Twitter, changing clean energy forever, and disrupting pretty much any industry he can get his hands on. So of course his SpaceX would build the world's largest rocket, complete with its own gigantic robotic arms. SpaceX really likes making headlines by doing things bigger and better than anyone else ever has. Their latest innovation that's been making space tech history are their enormous robot arms, known together as Mechazilla. It's essentially a pair of building-sized robotic arms installed on their 480-foot launch tower called Starbase. The nickname for the monstrous arms are the chopsticks, since they are essentially the world's biggest chopsticks hauling the largest rockets ever assembled by man. Musk's space company made history by creating the largest launch vehicle prototype ever assembled. This is the second time they've earned this distinction too. The way Mechazilla was able to accomplish this was that it first held the Starship S-20 for over an hour as two stabilization arms were connected to each side of the vehicle. It then raised the ship to its peak and swung it 45 degrees so that it hovered above the Super Heavy Booster 4. The quick disconnect or QD arms fully stabilized the booster. Then the arms slowly dropped Starship onto Super Heavy as clamps fully connected the two. It is another feat of engineering genius from Musk and his idea factory that will go down in history. What is perhaps most impressive about this technical achievement is how quickly the Mechazilla chopsticks were created from conception to putting Starship together. The QD arms alone began production in May of 2021. Then X installed the two primary chopsticks in October of the same year. The stacking of Starship was actually Mechazilla's first go and what a fantastic performance it was. Everything moved with mechanical perfection, with very little uncontrolled movement. Something that's vital when you're stacking a ship that weighs over 80 tons. None of this is what's actually so cool about Mechazilla though. The main event for these giant mechanical arms is how they will enable rockets to have a faster turnaround time than taking your car to the shop. Their idea for the arms is that they will actually catch first stage boosters as they return to Earth. If you're not quite visualizing that, just imagine a rocket flying down from orbit, slowly hitting thrusters to slow and stabilize it as two giant arms grab and secure it. So yeah, straight up sci-fi cyberpunk awesomeness. Though just looking cool isn't exactly why they made it. That's just a bonus. This would massively reduce a lot of effort because they would no longer need to install landing pads. Not only that, but the biggest benefit is that it would reduce the turnaround time for these rockets to a ridiculous degree. The projection Musk gave was that Mechazilla would be able to grab and have a rocket ready for redeployment in under an hour. So yeah, next time you're sitting in an airport waiting for your plane to take off for 30 minutes, just remember that Starbase can use its giant robo chopsticks to grab a rocket that just fell from space and then reassemble it for launch again faster than you can finish your in-flight movie. This would never happen if Tesla made airports. I'm sure that's next. So how much does a launch like this actually cost? I mean, NASA's expenses are notoriously astronomical. For instance, their moon rocket known as the Space Launch System, or SLS, is is reported to be worth 4.1 billion dollars. That's not to build either, that's 4.1 bill a launch. So if space travel is that expensive, how could Musk's dream of space travel as regular as train travel ever be realized? Well, Mechazilla is a big innovation that NASA doesn't have. Musk's long-term goals for Starship launches are incredibly affordable, especially by space travel standards. He wants each and every Starship launch to be as cheap as one million dollars. That's far less than one percent of what NASA would spend. This is likely why NASA's got a 3.49 billion dollar contract with SpaceX. Knowing Musk, it could be as affordable to get 
to the moon as it would be to get an Uber one day. So why exactly is it called Mechazilla? Is it secretly made out of dragon scales or something? Well, the name is a show of Musk's notorious sense of humor. It's a reference to the giant robot Mechagodzilla that was created to fight Godzilla in both the original Japanese films and the most recent Godzilla vs. Kong film. He even said that if the system had legs, it would basically just be a giant robot. While we don't have a problem with giant lizard titans leveling cities yet, it is comforting to know that Elon Musk is already halfway to a giant Pacific Rim style robot capable of taking a kaiju down. I'm sure he's got designs somewhere on his computer, just in case. In case you're not an avid SpaceX fan like half the internet is nowadays, you might not know that their latest obsession is with a project called Starship. It's a fully reusable spacecraft and would be able to save a fortune on launch costs. It will replace Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets to send satellites and humans into space. The designs have a ton of new practical applications, from the likes of commercial space tourism business to military applications to space colonization. So there's no doubt Starship is about the most ambitious project ever created for space travel. If it can do everything they want it to, this is the vehicle by which mankind will shed Earth as its only home for the stars. Mechazilla is the next innovation towards that success. The entire purpose of Starship is to make the launching and relaunching of rockets it's safer, easier, and most of all, cheaper. While they've sunk billions into creating this technology, once it gets going, this could be the common way these rockets are assembled, launched, and caught. While Starship gets all the credit, Mechazilla will do the hard labor. Literally, the heavy lifting. It's basically the Samwise Gamgee to Starship's Frodo. Elon is a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so I'm sure he'd love that joke. Musk's goals with all this tech are actually far harder than getting to Mordor. Space SpaceX's major long-term goal is to build a city on Mars by 2050. So far that plan has not looked great. Many failed rocket launches, technological setbacks, and controversies have made this seem more and more like a pipe dream. Musk remains undeterred that his Martian city will be built on time. While it's not as glamorous as launching a rocket full of colonists ready to make the red planet home, the Mechazilla chopsticks are actually a huge step towards achieving this goal. The coolest part of the whole thing is that once they get to Mars, they will install a starbase with its own Mechazilla just like ours. Before he starts sending people to Mars though, he'll take SpaceX where many companies have gone before into the tourism industry. Soon enough, you'll be able to see those Mechazilla arms working up close and personal as SpaceX starts firing commercial flights into the stars. They launched their first commercial flight in April when three wealthy space enthusiasts were shot to the ISS with their astronaut escort. While the first class tickets are currently priced at around $55 million a piece, I'm sure that a coach ticket around $30 million will probably be available at some point in the future. You'll just have to uh, sit with your space luggage in your lap. SpaceX really needs these wins too. Each and every failed launch or explosion costs them hundreds of millions of dollars, so there's no way you can imagine how excited these guys were for Mechazilla to be this awesome.